I want to put you all in the hot seat real fast. Uh, Mike House of Morin, I'm going to put you in first because I used to travel a lot and I used I used Skyscanner a ton. And I noticed that when I used Skyscanner and I would be looking at flights and I would close out of the browser and then look back at the flights, the prices went up. Is that because of some machine learning that you created? Uh, no, and that's a, it's a common misconception. Um, so I'll very quickly summarize. Prices and flights are always quite variable, um, and you can have you can have things that can happen where uh, availability of a seat class disappears, and the price goes up because it goes to the next seat class. And then if people cancel, like when, for some places, when you when you say Lufthansa, you you start your process of booking a flight, you, you hold that seat for a certain period of time, that can cause the seat class availability to change, and so the price goes up. When when you are kind of like reservation goes away again, then the price can go back down again. So you can have weird effects happening uh, like that, that make it look like the price is changing because you've done something, but actually it's just general price variability. 